Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, Elisa. Welcome. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Sorry. Awesome. Awesome. Let's give the other students some time to come into the class. All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Welcome, welcome. Is everybody ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. All right, excellent, excellent. Hello, Gloria. Hello, Christina. Hello, Daisy. Hello, Elisa. Hello, welcome guys. Are you ready for your English class? All right. So in the previous class, we were working from section number two. Today, I would like for us to go ahead and jump into the midterm, which is coming from this section over here. This was your homework. I hope everybody finished the homework. So let's start with the first section, listening. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Are you ready for the audio? And everybody here? Welcome to Ask Eliza, the radio show about manners. And everybody here? Our first caller is Jonathan. Hello, I Jonathan. Can you, you know. Uh, can everybody hear the audio? Can everybody hear the audio? Can you hear it? Welcome to Ask Eliza. Yes, the can radio. You can you hear now? Can you yes. Hear? You can hear the audio? Any dinner next weekend, all the directors and managers will be here? there, so I'm pretty nervous. Let me guess. You've never been to a... Welcome to Ask Eliza, the radio show about manners. Our first caller is Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. What's your question today? Well, I just got a new job, and I'm going to a big company dinner next weekend. All the directors and managers will be there, so I'm pretty nervous. Let me guess. You've never been to a formal dinner before. That's right. And you're wondering what's appropriate and what's considered bad form. Exactly. I just don't know what to say. Well, talking about your personal life isn't a good idea, and asking your coworkers and managers personal questions can be considered inappropriate. So what do people talk about? At these kinds of events, it's typical to talk about less personal topics, such as travel, weather, and entertainment. Have you seen any good movies lately? Yeah, I just saw Crazy Motorcycle Killers. What a great movie. Uh, Killers? Maybe that's not such a good one to talk about. What are you reading these days? Hmm. Oh, I'm reading a biography about David Beckham. It's really interesting. That's better. You can talk a little about that. But be sure to ask questions, too. 
it's always best to listen more than you talk, especially when you're new. Okay, I feel a little more prepared now. Thanks, Eliza. No problem, Jonathan. And remember, have a good time. Okay, who can give me the answer for number one? Jonathan is going to, what is Jonathan going to do? A formal dinner. A formal dinner, excellent. Number two, it's a bad idea for Jonathan to talk about the weather, his personal life, or traveling abroad. What is your answer? The weather. The weather. Very good. Thank you. Number three. The movie Jonathan mentioned is... What is your answer? Not appropriate to talk about. Playing at the local theater. Going to be made into a book. What is your answer? It's not appropriate to talk about. It's not appropriate to talk about. Good. Thank you, Gloria. Um, Elisa advises Jonathan to read a book, ask personal questions, or talk less and listen more. What do you think? What do you have? Somebody. Anybody? I I didn't pay attention to this part. <laughs> okay, okay. Could you repeat, please? Yes, of course. Should be coming up. Travel, weather, that's better. You can talk a little about that, but be sure to ask questions too. It's always best to listen more than you talk, especially when you're new. Okay, I feel a little more prepared now. Thanks, Eliza. No problem, Jonathan. And remember, have a good time. Okay, what is your answer? To talk less and listen more. Perfect. Perfect. To talk less and listen more. Correct. All right. Part three. Part number three. Listen to a news report about a robbery. Then check true or false. And now for our local news. There was a robbery on Friday at Kate's Kitchen, a local restaurant on Beach Street. Kate Miller, the owner and manager of Kate's Kitchen, was counting money late at night after the restaurant closed. According to Miller, two nervous-looking women knocked on the window and asked for help. Miller was worried someone was after them, so she let them in. When Miller opened the door, the women pushed her to the floor and took the money, about $2,000 in cash. Luckily, Miller wasn't injured and is currently working with local police to recover the money. A security video from a nearby apartment building shows two women matching Miller's description running past the door of the building. Police think this video shows the two robbers as they fled the scene. Police also received a tip from two neighbors who were out walking their dogs at the time of the robbery. They saw two women driving away in a blue car. 
If anyone has any information about the robbery, please call Police Precinct 245. All right, let me have one volunteer, number one. The robbery took place early in the morning. True or false? It's false. It is false. Thank you. Number two, $2,000 were stolen from the restaurant. True or false? True. True. A security video shows two women running from the scene. True or false? It's true. true. It is true. And the last one, number four. The robbers drove a, a, away in a black truck. False. False. It was a blue car. Excellent. All right. Excellent, guys. Any questions? Oh, look at this one. It's a bad idea for Jonathan to talk about his personal life. Right? That was the answer. Yeah. His personal life. And this one was Jonathan is going to? It's a business meeting. A business meeting. That's right. That's correct. Okay. Good. All right. Good job, guys. Any questions in regards to exercise number one in the midterm exam? Questions about exercise one in the midterm exam? Nobody? Okay. Now, teacher. What I want... teacher. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Uh, Hello, the good order. Evening. I I can you help me the order exercise? Which one? Is is uh, two point um, eleven. Two point eleven. Coming Please. right up. All right. So let's look at two point eleven. Does anybody else need help on two point eleven? Anybody else need help on 2.11? Anybody? Somebody? Nobody? Okay. Elmer, thank you, Elmer. All right. So on this one right here, uh, this is 2.11 knowledge check. Uh, number one is B. Number two is A. Number three is B. Number four is A. Number five is B. And number six is A. Good teacher, thank you. You got it. Yes, Saul? Yeah, I need help in the next exercise. Okay. 2.12. 2.12. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Give me just a second. Let me take a look at it real quick. Does anybody else need help in this section? Me too, teacher. Okay. All right. Give me just a second. Let me just... Check something real quick. Well, this one is three, three exercises, right? Okay, got it. All right, so on this one, the first one is taxi driver. Number two is department store clerk and number three is house painter thank you teacher all right thank you okay let's look at the following section which is section number B. Choose the words 
correctly. I would like for you to work in pairs, answer the exercise, and then we will do it together as a class. I will allow one student to share your screen. Ready, let's go. Is everybody finished? No, teacher. Oh, okay. Let's do it together. <laughs> Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, mm, number one. If someone you... gives you a gift, it's polite to say it's thank you. It's polite to say, yeah. And the next one. It's, it's polite. Talk no. about your personal problems at work. But Bad form. form. Yes. Bad form. Okay. Asking women her age can be a rude. Root mm -hmm. in many countries. Okay, but for it, it's polite uh, to brag about accomplishments. Yes, no. Mm. What is accomplishment? Number four. I don't know. <laughs> um, About. Accomplishment. Accomplishment. Uh, but the meaning is funny. Yeah. What is it? Mm, it's related about success. Okay. So it's. What is brag? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's I think see. I think polite. No, I think it's polite. No, I think it would be oh, a bad word. Brag, it would be jactarse o alardear. I think it's a bad so, word. Yes, bad word. It's a bad form. Yes, yeah. yes. Fine. Yes, calling. Calling a college lay at night is inappropriate. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, part two. Part two. Mm -hmm. yeah, people. Uh, have, have been talking. <laughs> Tally, I don't know what it is. <laughs> About the recent rise in crime. Number two. Have talked. Oh. 
could be the first one. Participating. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. I think it's. Likely. Mm -hmm. I think that it would be had been participating. Yes. Okay. Six one over the past few months with the police six times. Hot color. Yeah, I think it is hot color. Hot cold. Yes. Four thieves um, have broken into the corner into, store into. twice this week. Into. Uh, B. Twice no. this week. Have, okay. Have broken. For me, I think it could be the first one. I don't know. Yes. Because it's a specific, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, all. Yes. Okay. Right. Will be the first one, right? I've been thinking. Time to think. Huh? Yes, the first one. He was thinking about the crime for the reason he wanted to move in, right? Mm -hmm. Crowning her. Finally. Yes. Luckily, my family. Has not been happy or has not had. Has not had, no. I'm or not sure. Could be the first one. First, first one. Uh, I don't know. We can try with the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I uh, the second one. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Let but... me... yeah. oh, oh, oh. Oh. Number two, half participator. I don't in number yeah. one is has been talking in the in the pretty one says has been uh, dali uh -huh. ng <laughs> if I stay here okay it's correct well the next one next one, one. yeah okay with the quotation, choose the phrase the best complete each sentence. Remember capital letters and period when needed. Don't touch. It's hot. She warned me. Uh, yes, about... she warned me not, not to. <clears throat> Number one, the first one. Yes. The first okay. one. It's about report speech, right? Yes. You said the first one. Yes. yes. She warned me not to. Okay. Oh, oh right, right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, Juan. How are you? Hello, welcome Juan. How are you? Hi, teacher. Do you have the answer for number one? Mm. Um, meter little B. What letter? Little B. Letter B. Let's check. 
number one is letter number B. It's rude to say thank you. When someone gives you a gift, it's rude to say thank you. Mm, I don't know. What do you it, it is polite to say. It is polite to say. Very good. Number one is it's polite to say thank you. Excellent one. Elisa, number two. It's bad form to tell about, about your personal problems at work. Excellent. It's bad form to talk about your personal problems at work. Very good. Number three, Elizabeth. Hi, number three. Asking women her age can be a uh, rule in many countries. Very good. Very good. Excellent, Elizabeth. Number four, Christina. Um, what does it mean to brag? Uh, brag, it, it's mm, to brag about your compliments. A brag is like when somebody talks about themselves and only thinks about themselves and they're, they are like the center of attention. Like um, selfish? That is correct. Okay, so it will be, it's bad form to brag about your accomplishments. Very good. That is correct. Thank you. Good job. Anna Cecilia, number five. Calling a college late at night is inappropriate. Colleague. Colleague. Very good. Inappropriate. Thank you. Sandra, part two, number one. Choose the verb that best completes each sentence. What is your answer? Sandra. Had been talking. People have been talking about their rights and rights in crime in our area. Very good. Very good. Have been talking. Correct. Thank you. Elmer, number two. Elmer, number two. Lady, I have participated in a neighborhood crime watch program. Very good. A or B? Mm, for me, is B. B, I have participated. Okay, thank you. Um, Sergio, number three. Over the past few months, we have called the police six, six times. We have called the police six times. Excellent. Arsenio, number four. Arsenio, number four. Damaris, number four. Damaris. Number four. Uh, ties have been breaking toes into the corn store twist this week. Very good. Thieves have broken into the corner store twice this week. Excellent. Number five, Gloria. I has been thinking about moving to to high crime in her area. Excellent. Has been thinking. Perfect. Carlos, number six. Luckily, my family has not had any trouble so far. Perfect. Good job. Okay, good job, guys. Any questions about this activity? 
Any questions about this activity? No questions, teacher. Okay, good, good. I like that. All right, let's look at section C. Choose the quotations, instructions. Read the quotations. Choose the phrase that best completes each sentence. Remember, capital letters and periods when needed. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. I want you to finish this activity with your partners, and then we're going to check together. Ready? Let's go. The product words. Number six, you, sh you should start a blog. You should. Ah, Laura encouraged me to. Okay. Well, part two. I don't know. Read the read, read the quotation. Complete the sentence in reporting speech. Speech. I don't know. <laughs> you? <laughs> no. I'm no, riding no. with no, Julia. No. She oh, told me. Saul. Saul. <laughs> she told me. I'm riding with Dad. Julia. He told me. He told me that he was riding with Julia. Yes. Did you hear me write in the chat? Gloria. I'm writing. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Tell me that he was writing with Julia. He, um, sorry, Gloria. A question. Uh, his compliment me thought he was oh, or 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 because I think oh, it, oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well we uh -huh. use that uh -huh. and uh -huh. it the verb uh, becomes uh, in past time. Mm -hmm. 
Which is bad for you, it's correct. And for me, it's bad. You answer you Gloria, you you answer the correct. What? You when you the answer the correct number one. That's is is right it's right in the chat. I'm not sure. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Good evening. All right. Let's Hi, hello. Let's check the first one. Let me have one volunteer give me the answer for number one. Don't touch the oven. It's hot. Reported speech. One volunteer. Carlos. She warned she warned me not to. She warned me not, not to. to. Very good. Yes. Uh, number two, Sergio. Um, number two, did he ask her to come? And uh, no, it's letter B. Kim wanted to know if we asked her to come. Very good. Excellent. Number three, Elisa. Good 
It is some advice. You shouldn't, shouldn't eat that. Some advice oh, me not to. Excellent. Okay. Sam advised me not to. Good. Uh, let me have number four, Elizabeth. Number four. Interrupting yes. is rude. And he explained that interrupting is rude. Perfect. Yeah. He explained that interrupting is rude. Good job. Number five, Christina. Okay, uh, this product works. Uh, I think the correct one is the ad claims that the product works. Perfect, perfect. Number six, Arsenio. Number six, Juan. Laura informing me to. You should start a blog. Laura encouraged me to. Excellent. All right. Now we're going to look at part two instructions. Read the questions. Complete the sentences in reporting speech. I'm writing with Julia. He told me. Okay, Gloria, what is your answer? Gloria, what is your answer? Elmer, what is your answer? Elmer, what is your For answer? For me, teacher is, he told me uh, he was reading with Julia. He was writing with Julia. Good job. He told me he was writing with Julia. Perfect. Number two, please, Anna. Anna, Cecilia, number two. Daisy. Day C, number two. Saul, number two. Sandra, number two. Damaris, number two. Nancy had never been skinny. Mm -hmm. Nancy has never been skiing. All right, what is your answer? What is your answer? What is your answer? Okay. So here we say Nancy had never been skiing. And is anyone ready to leave? She asked. What is your answer? Number three, one volunteer. One volunteer. Number three, one volunteer, please. Is anyone ready to leave? Is anyone ready to leave? She asked. Okay. And the last one, 
Pam lost a lot of weight. My mother told me My mother told me one volunteer, one volunteer. Pam had lost a lot of weight. Okay, excellent. Good job, guys. What is the answer for that one? Does somebody have the answer for the last one? Answer for the last one? Oh, it's the same one. We just need to put a, a period. Period. Oh, it still doesn't work. It's weird. Well, but that's the answer. Pam lost a lot of weight. Oh, okay then. So Pam lost. So this is an error. The correct answer is Pam had lost a lot of weight. I'm going to report this error. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next exercise. For the next activity, we're going to be moving forward on the midterm exam. We're going to look at section number D. Complete the sentences with the verb in parentheses. Use the past perfect or simple past. Just type the verb in. Do not need to worry about capital letters or periods. All right, so you're going to do one through six, one through six. Any questions at this moment? Any questions at this moment? No question, teacher. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next activity, work in pairs, and then we will check together. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. I <laughs> Mm 
Um, aku mau lihat A. Di hari tanah apa ya? Mulai enam. Wah, itu pula lagi naik.
Hey, is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Okay, let me have one volunteer give me the answer for number one. As soon as I got to class, my teacher gave, yeah. gave very good, gave us a pop quiz. Number two, I got a dog last year. Up until then, I never, never had. had. Never had any pets. Number three, Sam and Sue got married on Sunday. The next day, they went, went. went on a trip. My Chinese class went out for dim sum. Before that, I had never tasted. Had never tasted it before perfect number five lara bought a car this summer until that time she didn't know didn't know how to drive the moment george canceled all his credit cards he Found. Found his wallet. Perfect. Okay. That's great. All right. Any questions about this activity, guys? Any questions about this activity, guys? No question, teacher. Okay. Good. Good. All right. All right, we still got a couple of more minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the last activity for today. The last activity is going to be coming from the next section, which is reading. Read the email message, then choose the phrase that best completes each sentence. You have two parts. Two parts. All right. Please do it together, and then we will do it as a class. You will have two minutes. Two minutes. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Is everybody finished? Is no, everybody it's... finished? I need, I need, I need Are you finished? Not teaching. Okay.
Okay, guys, it's already time to go. So I'm going to have to let you go. See you tomorrow. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Take care. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye. -bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow.